Boa noite a todos. Welcome back to Tom Play's Europe Universalis 4 for Absolute Beginners. We're back with Portugal. And just considering whom we might attack, potentially. So, right, we've got Morocco and Tunis there. It's not ideal. Tunis again. Neither of those is really a great option. Fulo, Oyo, and Bonneman. Yep, and they're all looking after each other. Might have been a good option, but I think we're going to have a job getting a Cassus Belly for them. Hmm. Noble Rebels. Standing out as fantastic. Oh, it's interesting. <laughs> Technologically superior to us, but you know, interesting. I wonder if we could actually get a. with any particular reason to go after them, I'm just sort of vaguely wondering if uh, it might be another option seeing as they don't seem to have any allies. Maybe we'll aspire out it just in case, you never know. Okay, but otherwise not a lot of options there. For attacks, what about setting our colonies on people. Okay, see Spain's happily taken lots of areas here. So it is possible to fabricate claims on Muisca. Quito will join in. I won't be surprised if we can take those, even without having to do anything ourselves. Might not hurt to send the army across there. Just to give them a bit of a boost. Oh, and there you go. Spain wants us to purge Neapolitan heresy from Naples. And they want us to fight France. Fighting France. Naples and France. I suppose that's doable. <sighs> It's not ideal, to be fair. No, okay, I'll accept. I will accept. May regret this. We'll see. Okay, we've got another colony there. Right, so they're cut off as far as that goes, so let's take this colony next. I think that means we have exclusive access to all of these. So we can possibly even stop down there and start colonising up here. Again, another technology, so let's go for that. And we're going to have to work out what we're going to do about this war with France now. Right, I need a decent general to start with. Yes, I did say decent. Right, let's head up there and see if we can take them out. I'm not sure we can. But we should at least try to show willing. Oh, 
so I'm not sure how much use any of these armies are going to be. Can I take that area there? I'm nervous about it, but I'm just thinking it might be worth a try. Okay, right, so Spain has a big issue with France. We have a big issue with Naples. We're going to send our army up anyway. What about in the colonies? I would like to think we will have the advantage there, even without doing anything. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So we really just need to worry about the doing there. So if we spearhead this attack, will Spain actually join in? I'm kind of feeling like I'd like them to get themselves together a bit first. Cool, extra manpower is good. They'll possibly fight them on a castle. Concerned that France has a better general. Hmm, no wonder. Maybe I'd be better off ignoring that colony. How about we just landing well but as soon as we can I think we should choose this option allow friendly armies to attach to this army just in case they want to okay that's good we've got trusted merchants we do want that So at the moment, I'm not sure what Spain actually thinks they're doing. It looks like they're going on the attack. So I'm considering bringing the rest, well, the, the troops that are on those ships up to join this army, make it into one big army, and then I might attack. Where are we here? Okay, yeah, we're working on a sort of Mexican colonial nation aren't we? That's fine, let's just keep going with that since this is probably going to be a big setback when it comes to making any kind of wars however just to keep it in it going let's build a spy network over here as well on the plus side it looks like we're kind of swamping France I wonder if we can get some land concessions out of this Right, it looks like Spain have added some units onto ours, so let's go and attack. I'm going to send that up as well. And I'm going to bring these ships over to make France's life miserable, because I don't really need the ships. I don't know how good their navy is, maybe they can take ours down, they're not very technological. Okay, this doesn't look good. A mistake. I know they're in defensive territory and they've got a better general and probably better military tech. We do have an army on the way, we might be a bit too far behind. You see, Spain should really be bringing people to bolster our numbers here. Uh, use them as he would have, I suppose. I could use the extra prestige, I could also use the extra money though. I think we're going to lose this. Doesn't help that Spain seems to be too busy bolstering their own army. I 
I found reinforcements and got there before the army failed. That will make all the difference, but I think we're going to get there just afterwards. If ever I still win. Oh, it looks like Spain's trying to reinforce us as well. Okay, at least they're trying. But we lost. Just too late. Never mind, at least round two will take them down, it's just going to do us a fair bit of damage. But it didn't seem to be anyone we could directly attack anyway. Not easily. And to be fair, Spain is our most important ally. So we've won that one. Going to keep my relatively small army there so we can reclaim the land. And hopefully rebuild things. We can slowly start turning the tide. So who are our actual enemies? Just French areas really. I think together we're Oh, the paper state is on our side. That's good. Okay, because they're a decent size at the moment. But yeah, I mean, if you look at this in the colonies, France is just having a horrible time. So, not an issue. We can manage this war pretty well. Yeah, I was thinking of landing an army over here just to occupy that area, but all things considered, maybe we will end up having it taken by no. by us. Not complaining about that. What's going on here? I'm gonna cheek. <laughs> okay, so we've lost a general. And so our morale is very low, but their morale is even lower, so I'm hoping we'll get away with this. We also have reinforcements coming. And we also have of vastly superior numbers. So I'm just going to beat these guys one last time. Okay then, where would be a good place to take next? Let's go get a castle, like I'll stomp on France a bit. Let's see, Spain actually, yeah fair enough. So yeah, much as I'd like to help the Pope, I'm just thinking, apart, apart from anything else, I'm kind of thinking that this is mainly Spain's war and Naples looks quite scary, so maybe Spain should handle Naples, especially since we've already lost the battle, which will have cost us severely in manpower. Oh, excellent. Some of these lands have been counted as ours. That's what we want. If 
that's the case, I might split the army up trying to take more land. So if land's going to count as belonging to Portugal now, if we take it. Oh, cool. Bit of peace. Always good. I see, so we're just happily, casually letting the pump get the pump get stumped on, are we? While we just do the easy stuff. That's charming. Kind of feel like I at least have an excuse for that, given that this isn't actually my war. And apparently, that is also Spain's idea. Seems a bit shoddy, but there you go. Don't really see why I should go and take on the enormous scary armies when Spain has got some pretty scary armies of their own with rather better generals. So I think we will stick around in front and just take as much French land as we can. So what we should do as well is explore peace options because while we've joined in with Spain and you know no problem doing that if we can get France to concede I was in Naples oh sorry they're mainly attacking Naples aren't they yeah fair enough so actually Naples probably has no particular reason to concede anything to us Plus we've got no diplomats. Not to worry. Guess I'll just carry on taking land from the front. Uh, Cardinal? Yep. my diplomats are so I know we've got some spy networks going prove relations in Dahomey right I'm not convinced that's actually necessary anymore they're on plus 200 some of these armies uh, 
Okay, they will annul treaties with France. Doesn't really interest me, but they'll give me some money. Um, yeah, okay. I know Castile wouldn't really like it. But hey, we kind of joined in. We didn't gain any land, but we did gain some money. So we need to build some manufactories with that. So let's just check this because we mostly want to base them around the institution spread. So we don't need them anywhere there, but it might be useful to have one maybe here. So I'm not really thinking at this stage about the advantages from the manufacturers themselves. I'm thinking about helping our spread of the institution. So maybe Cape Coast would be a good place for one. Nope, apparently that isn't an option. Okay, go here instead. There's already one there. Sierra Leone. So they won't start spreading. The institution won't start in these areas until the manufactory has been built, which will take a while. But remember, we also have a. Are we already building one here? Because if we're not, we should be. Unfortunately, we don't have the money. Right, that's unfortunate because we want one there as soon as possible. But yeah, we, um, we've we also got the mission to build 20 manufacturers. Help us towards that as well. So it's interesting. I suggest we might be able to potentially even attack France. Oh well, I guess we'll see how Spain do. This isn't our problem anymore. It's unfortunate, gain some corruption. We can also pull our ships back. So I'm hoping we're going to be in a position to launch an attack over here. There is potential for one over here as well, which might be more useful to us. Just keep that going for now. What about these chaps? Fabricate mm. claim on Quito. Isolate them if possible so that the French can't take their lands. I do wonder if we should consider an attack on France once this war's over. Although we'll probably have a truce with them, won't we? So we won't really have that as an option. Never mind. Also, I'm not very clear on why we now have a loan. So clearly, wasn't paying attention. Well, seeing as we do have a loan, maybe I should take another loan out and get this manufactory started. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Take a loan there. Manufactory here. Okay, cool. So we'll focus on paying the loans back, but those manufactories should be on their way now, which will help us with institution spread so we can start catching up on technology, hopefully. Sounds like we're still gaining money at least. Right. Uh, 
relative. Lose 10 prestige rather than not. I will put up with a, like a foreign spy detection instead. Okay, right, we might want to get somewhere that's got access to that area. So we're only able to send 15 troops across here. Which isn't the problem. It's, I'm not convinced we even need any troops. This is really just to bolster them. Okay, enhanced diplomatic reputation. I like that. We also have a papal blessing, potentially. So again, we've got the option of reputation. We also have legitimacy as an option, but that's already changing. So let's go with more diplomatic reputation. Assuming they're the bigger threat. So let us look at maybe taking this one as well as soon as we can. Don't necessarily need to take them all. Still got quite a way to go though, haven't we? What have we got? Boundaries. So the nobles have expanded their properties. No, I'm going to demand that we return to them. It's going to be a pain, but... No. Less of a pain than I thought. I do need another general, actually, so... Seems like a good time to get one. I do not appreciate my nobles taking liberties. with that I reckon. Okay let's try and speed things up a little. As you're thinking about it, do we have an option for an estate agenda? Let's give that a try. Okay invest in prosperity that's always good. Central Morocco want us to take some of Morocco, rather not right now. Outposts in the east they want spy stuff, not in a position to do that, so I think we're investing in prosperity. It'd be nice if that also helped spread manufactories, but it'll probably turn out to be somewhere that already has it. Or maybe not. So a proposal of the clergy, and we just want to raise the base tax. No, good news. Okay. So that improves manufacturers a bit as well and we've gained some prestige and loyalty which is good excellent not a bad thing see this wall's still dragging on i'm quite quite glad we left Feeling we lost Austria, so we've probably got room for another diplomatic relation. Have to go to native Portuguese lands to see it. Oh no, I'm wrong. Oh, we've still got a royal marriage with Austria, that's the problem. I'm really only on plus 60 with Spain. Surprisingly low. Well, they want my subjects' provinces minus 200. That's worrying. So, our ongoing um, friendship with Spain could break up soon. I'll try to improve relations with them. I'm doubly glad we pulled out of the war then. 
New Portugal, we've already taxed them, I think. So I'm going to tax them again. Oh, I need this to get to 25. Ah, that's with their spy network. Actually, we're not spying on killer. Let's put five tools becoming the next paper controller. some troops. So yeah, this hasn't gone as planned in the slightest. <laughs> And prestige, yes, please. Much as I'd like to pay the loans off, much more interested in keeping a high prestige going. Honorable people, that's a shame, bit of a waste. And we've already got 99, never mind. I've known that was coming. I, uh, I've known that was coming. I want to hide that painter. Never mind. You never know what's going to happen. Right then. Well, wasn't this interesting? I think we've actually cut them off. So we should get our Pacific fleet up here. Unfortunately, we were planning to get this army over there. It's my fault. I should have been more on the ball with that, really. Well, let's move the army first, because we can at least get a five-province nation up here. So I'm going to try and spread a bit further. They will then start colonizing. It looks like we've reached 10 provinces with someone. Hasn't they guessed? It must be California. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Stop one. Yep, definitely. Right, brilliant. So they've become a 10 province nation, which is what we wanted. Hopefully, we can get Mexico to the same level. I think we can actually keep the colonists in Mexico this time. Rather than worrying as much about the subsidies. Uh, so that gives us another trader, which is great. Probably just go with the basics for this one, whatever's highest on the list. So I think next, well, it would be the Polynesian Triangle, but we haven't discovered it. So Timbuktu apparently is the next one. Really? Timbuktu? Better with Timbuktu or with Chesapeake Bay? I feel like Chesapeake Bay would be more appropriate. I suppose Timbuktu does lead on to Safi though. So, you know. Ah, we'll hopefully have another one. Right, okay, so we'll send someone to Timbuktu to transfer trade power. He has quite a lot of retain, so hopefully we should see that more is pulled forward soon. As our little percentage there goes up. But we're probably not going to be around to see it. Because we're getting there on the Mexico front. I think that worries me is whether our own colony might block us off. But this is one advantage, you see, because Spain's still, I think, embroiled in a war. 
Well, maybe not. Maybe they're finished. But for the time they were embroiled in the war, it probably gave us a better chance to do some colonising. Yeah, it looks like they've made peace now. Shame. Never mind, did Spain take some more land? They did. Finished taking all of Sicily, I think. Well, marriage offer from Spain? Yes, please. I'm totally up for that. Still quite keen to be friends. Alright, so we don't particularly want their provinces, they just want ours. Yeah, I guess we're probably sitting on something that is part of their mission tree, unfortunately. I suppose it was always going to break down eventually. Might be useful if we could drag him into a war in the meantime. Speaking of, do we still have a peasant rebellion happening? We do. Okay. So let's take some of these troops. Take him down there. So we can go and help out. And how are our spy networks going? Fabricate another claim. So I'm going to go Tundra for the next one. That will leave them with Bogota. Which is very valuable, but it means they'll be completely surrounded by us. And I was thinking with these guys, we would go for Esmeraldas. So we'll sort of move down the map a little. Okay. Well, okay, so I'm discontent. That's fine. So I want to take... Well, ideally both of these areas, but I'll go for Tundra primarily because that's the one that borders France and we will attack so I'm going to start by sending these guys over to Quito itself which we're hopefully going to be able to claim that's another reason I didn't want too many fabrications because I'm guessing Quito is the capital city so we'll probably need quite a war school to claim that one but yeah, not going to get too worried about that particular war because it's mostly going to be done by the vassals. We're just going to have a small army in Quito just to help out. Ming considers his arrival now. Not making ourselves popular, are we? <sighs> Never mind. Right. Here we go. Sort those peasants out. These are our vassals, and you know, technically, it's for nobility either to the vassals, so we kind of owe them something. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, that's good. In that case, how about we split this army up so that we're dealing with both at once? And then we can head over here. Actually, go for Canary. I don't think they're much of a threat to our vassals, to be fair, so I'm not going to worry too much. Formed the League of Augsburg. for the homie soon. Ah right, that was that siege down there. Fair enough, that's good. So we need to get these guys back into Europe if possible.
I need to get the ships back over to the Americas to bring that other army back once the war's finished, so... Just to keep things moving. Checking on Seuss. Morocco and Tunis still. No, can't be helped. And Tunis. Not keen to fight Morocco and Tunis at the same time, basically. Might be able to get those two provinces now. Yeah, let's find them. I will take those two. This should make us a little bigger. I'm going to bring my army back there. So we want these two provinces. I suppose we might be better off just finishing this one off. and Monikura, that's what we want. Fine. That's fine. So now it's going to be up to Portuguese Colombia to keep hold of those provinces. Alright, so we're now going to move these guys back down to Africa because I'm actually kind of hoping we might still have a good option for attacking here. Although it looks like Kill was trying to beat us to it, unfortunately. If we're very lucky, Kill might just soften them up for us. <laughs> Can't say I'm tremendously optimistic, but. Can you do? Ability not happy with their rights. Form society person. I suppose we could crush them. On Tianak. Oh, here we go. Uh, mm. Interesting. 20 noble regiments. No, that is going to be quite difficult to manage. Okay, I don't want to give them more local authority, really, although. I don't know. Actually, not that big a deal, is it? There's not a hugely developed province, I don't think. No, it's not bad, but still. This is just a local thing. Right, so that's in place, so I did want to move our ships up here. That's the Pacific Fleet. Because I'm thinking. See um, Castile managed to well Spain managed to write their name across something. Pacifico Norte. I think that's because they've taken this area. Yeah, so we're running out of time to take these. So we should um, yeah definitely bring the ships up. See if we can just grab a couple of these lands and then maybe start on Siberia. Well, you tend to find people on that 
bothered about Siberia. It's a bit like Greenland, it tends to get less to last. Still, if we've got the ships there, hopefully by the time this colony's finished it'll form the colonial nation. We'll be in a decent position. Right, you then. Let's take you all the way to Africa. With you two potentially invading. So let me just make a few more transports. Six more, ideally. So we can at least take the 21 army across. Just not sure what's going to happen with Kilwa, unfortunately. But it can't be helped. That's good, spare no expense. Right, so what do we have? In effect, they've been horribly crushed. Kind of harsh, we could see if we can still take these two provinces I don't think there's anything honestly stopping us so I suppose we might as well we just need our spy network to hit 25 I think and then we may as well just go for it it's not going to be that useful but it'll give us two free provinces I suppose change to gaining military tech which is good we just pay off some loans Let's see where we're up to okay fabricate claim one final claim that we can fabricate stop building the spy network and I suppose realistically So we're to finishing these. To be honest, we may as well just declare war. I don't think there's any particular hurry. They're, they're that badly battered now. Half a chance our colonial nation will take him out. New emperor. It's fine. Go over there and take the capital city. Really, just finishing them off. Kill has done most of the work here. to build the extra transport ships in time but it doesn't really matter in fact splitting the army in two probably isn't gonna hurt uh, let's just do naval professionalism because we can bring the other army over here Progress on the colony, always good. We 
Free Polo, getting there. One donations. I think I'll just favor now, Ruby. Go away. They'll get over it. So we do want our ships over here. Well, it might not be bad if we could just land them. Oh no. We have no time to land them. We need to get our ships around immediately and try and win a naval battle. So we can hope for us to actually do a bit of naval warfare. Alright, we should make a piece. There we go. Actually, so I might even leave the armies there for now. Uh, right. Okay. Pedro II has fallen ill. We'll delegate more to the provinces. Well, more loyalty would be good, so let's go with that. I need a new diplomatic advisor. So I'm thinking about a plus one. Trade efficiency. Sounds good. Bring us more money check where we're up to with money but uh, okay so that's not bad he says happily right well I'm honestly kind of expecting the colonial nations to just deal with those not really our problem so yeah we made a bit of progress there also discover that France is less powerful than you would think which is interesting we really should think about making some inroads into them if we can but we've done a few very minor conquests as well as joining in with Spain. Hmm. Austrian kings aren't lasting very well. Right, so that should mean we've only got five out of six diplomatic relations now. So that's something. We have a full set of diplomats again. So we should give some serious full to some diplomacy as well. But for now, I might just leave that for next time. Send me ships here. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> Portuguese Mexico. Right, okay. I'm just going to carry on building for now. I will subsidize them. I would like them to do some colonising of their own. So, it doesn't hurt. I suppose we can't be very far off uh, the Cascadian equivalent either. But let's stick with that for now. I'd very much like to know where all my ships are. Oh, they're there, they're just not very easy to see. Brilliant, so they're all together. They can now take the entire army in one go, in theory. So... Fantastic. I'll leave the army separate so they're all keeping the peace. So yeah, not bad. Made some progress, hopefully progressing with the manufacturers, but I'll worry about that next time. 
and uh, <laughs> along with all the aftermath. But we've, we've gained some land, not much, petty amounts, but it's still worthwhile. And uh, yeah, definitely should be having a bit of a look at France. Not so much France themselves, I'm just thinking about these colonies. I think we do have a Casus Belli for attacking, trying to take some of the French colonies, so I actually wonder if it would be worth it. It would be great if we could drag Spain in like they dragged us in, because we would be almost guaranteed then. And yeah, it'd be worth considering, we might be able to get considerably more land, so if we do end up clashing with Spain, we might have a chance. I think we're fairly even at the moment in terms of size of colonies colonial nations, which isn't ideal. On the plus side we've got all the extra African lands. Spain doesn't have and we do of course have Australia. So we probably do still have the edge, but we'll see. Need to have a look at our relative technologies and things, even with France. And we really need to make Ilmeros into Kilwa. Still, it's progress. Bit of extra land, bit of extra money, working on the manufactories. So hopefully we will get there. So yeah, I'll leave it there for now and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.